Hi, welcome to EasySync. Let's take a quick two minute tour of how to get started with EasySync. So when you come, uh, you get started with the dashboard page. You're not created a field here, feed here. So uh, Shopify, let's create a Shopify feed first and just give a name and then say next. And there's a couple of options. You can use uh, create a feed using FTP, Google Drive, email or uh, URL link. We can set it up here. But for this uh, quick video, we can set up using a file that I've already have. You know, I have a, a supplier file here. Let's open that. And I want to link the supplier file fields to my Shopify fields. So there's a Shopify field called SKU and you want to make sure what where it should fetch this SKU from and it, it, there's a field called variant SKU and it will fetch from there. And uh, this is a unique field. There's other unique fields if you want, you can link it, but we'll do SKU as a unique field. And there's other fields called like quantity and uh, you want to link quantity to the source file. And this is just a one-time process, you know, so um, so there's price field, so you want to identify the link it to the price field here and there's um, say images, uh, there's a product images which is important so uh, there's a images source file here, source link here and then uh, you want to add, um, uh, so that's, uh, that's enough for now and uh, Let's, uh, you have to select this step which is new products because there's no products here listed in your show, store or in your admin panel. So this is the first step. So you want to add these products. So you want to make sure the title, um, let's say you want to have variant option, option one size. You want to know the size of the uh, your product, so value and let's say next. And there are some settings here, SKU filters and currency filters and we want to auto publish now. So I'll turn on auto publish, uh, which means it go live to the website. If you want to turn it off, you can turn it off yourself and you can manually publish it. But let's say we want to automatically publish, say save. I have to select the location here and save. Okay, so now let's add the product field. Now we have set the mapping up. So after the mapping is done, you add it. So there's, uh, it'll take few seconds, a few minutes based on the file size that you have from the supplier. There you go, it's done. So uh, we'll just go and check it, whether it's updated in your Shopify store. Okay, there's your admin panel and it shows all the nine products. And let's go check it in your store, whether it's live. And there you go, it's live in your store. So all these products have been updated, the size and everything. So the image and everything is updated. So the same thing you can do with uh, Amazon. Amazon, you have certain other steps, which is uh, you have to follow these steps which are mentioned. Um, and then you can have an authentication token and seller ID and everything. And it's the same process, just like we did for Shopify. But the only big difference between Amazon and Shopify is Shopify will allow you to add your products and automatically sync them with your inventory file of your supplier. But with uh, Amazon, it is only automatic sync or product update. There is no product addition with Amazon. Thank you and if you have any questions you can reach out our support team and they are waiting to help you and set up any kind of feed. Thank you.